25 to 29 representing Great Britain. We are at 9 hours 28 minutes. Congratulations, Joshua. Wait, Joshua, you are an Iron Man. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a little while since I've been here because I've been training and racing my first ever Ironman. Yes, I raced Ironman Barcelona Caella just over two weeks ago now. So I thought it was about time that we break down exactly how my first ever Ironman went. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Josh, an aid group triathlete based in London. And on this channel, we talk all things triathlon, whether those be training, race or recap videos, or kit videos but today we're breaking down my recent race we'll run through my experience pretty chronologically so we'll talk about travel accommodation and then break down the swim bike run and my summary after danny and i flew to barcelona airport from stansted airport which is just outside of central london it was really easy to get there it takes about 45 minutes by car and um, it's definitely a bit of a squeeze getting the bike box in the little car but parking at the airport, very reasonably priced, super easy and significantly less stress than trying to get the train with bike box. I think a lot of athletes choose to get the train from central Barcelona over to Caella, but we had some travel planned after the race. So we decided to rent a car and then drive from Barcelona to Caella. And we say about a you know, five, 10 minute drive away from where the race was just slightly north along the coast in a nice little Airbnb. However, this was definitely a learning experience and in the future for Ironman races specifically, I would try and stay within walking distance just because you have to be there the day before um, to register or to drop off your bike and such. It just makes things a lot easier and so looking for next year's races, I think I'll be trying to stay within walking distance. Right, let's break down the race itself. Let's start with the swim. now. For those of you who don't know, the swim for an Ironman is 3.8 kilometers. This takes place in the Med, just off the beach in Caella near Barcelona for the Ironman that I did. It's a pretty straightforward course, pretty much just a box out in the ocean, um, but conditions in the morning were really pleasant. Sun was just coming up, not too sunny. The water was pretty much pancake flat and, and a really nice temperature as well, but thankfully, still wetsuit legal. For those of you who haven't done an Ironman or Ironman branded race before, um, about kind of half an hour before the race start, they'll start to get you into pens, depending on your estimated swim time. The fastest swim time at Barcelona Caer was the 60 minute pen, um, which is definitely a broad range because people like myself were hoping to swim quite a bit sub 60, with the next slowest one being 110. So there's kind of everything from 50 minutes up to 109s in that pen, but luckily I managed to get in there early and get right to the front. So I was about fourth in line for the start. And it goes without saying that Ironman do an amazing job when it comes to building atmosphere around the race and especially at the start. There was both male and female pro waves heading off ahead of us, but they use that time where you kind of create a gap between the pros and the age groupers really nicely. And we had a massive amount of build up and it really made the race quite special in my opinion. But I felt incredibly strong when we started swimming. Like I said, kind of fourth into the water. So maybe 20 odd people ahead of me. And that pack dynamic really started to play out. I felt very strong and controlled on the swim. However, um, and this goes uh, for any kind of sea swims, but especially in the med, be careful for those jellyfish. That definitely caught me off guard. I got one small sting on my hand um, and then two larger stings on my neck about halfway through the swim. Luckily, you know, these were too severe to stop me from completing the race. However, um, it definitely threw me off my rhythm a little bit and made me take this one a little bit easier than I would have otherwise. Unfortunately, I was a bit too lackadaisical to make the true front pack of the swim. A couple of moves went off the front and then once they got a gap, I tried my hardest to close it down, but they were moving uh, significantly faster than I could match without their draft. Um, so I kind of stuck in the pretty, um, you know, pretty much the second group. 
um, which came in about five minutes down on that front group. Regardless, it was a 56 minute swim. I was incredibly pleased. I really enjoyed the swim, kept it strong, kept it comfortable, but the water was gorgeous. And um, barring the jellyfish, I absolutely loved the swim at this Ironman. My swim time put me third in my age group or 77th overall coming out of the water. I think I still have a good amount of room to improve here. I'd love to go sub 54 or even sub 52 in the future. I think I need to get a bit better at responding to moves and driving the pace a little bit more rather than letting others kind of drag me along um, and coasting a little bit too much. But I felt pretty cool, calm and collected and confident coming out onto the bike. For those of you who aren't familiar with the bike course at Ironman Barcelona, it's pretty fast, it's pretty flat, it's a really nice course. It takes us south along the coast for two laps. It's pretty much an out and back with a couple of small details. Most of this is on highways, so the surface is very good, the roads are wide, they are fast. There's a couple of small rollers in specific parts, but no significant hills of note, so pack dynamics can become incredibly important, and I think the referees did an incredibly good job of policing drafting. I never felt like anyone was doing this unfairly. I managed to get a really quick transition, especially for me, and so I made a pack on the bike with the people that I came out with on the swim. Now, these guys were incredibly fast and I was really pushing myself just to dangle off the back of that pack until about mm, two thirds, three quarters of the way through the first lap where the elastic finally snapped and I was well and truly spat. I managed to keep them in eyesight for another kind of 20 minutes or so but on reflection I think that was probably a mistake. I pushed myself incredibly hard to keep up even just like keep them in eyesight. I did manage to catch back on once, but I was immediately spat again um, off the back of the, the, the group. It was just far too hard for me. And I wish I would have realized that because there were definitely packs that were more my speed behind that I could have rode my own pace and eventually fell in with rather than that massive expenditure to try and draft behind a, a slightly too fast pack for me. Um, However, I kind of finished the first lap by myself, started the first lap by myself, um, and then another much more sensibly paced pack for me came past. I was still dangling off with the back of this pack a fair bit, um, and a couple of people up the front were maybe a little bit closer than they should have been, but again, thanks to the referees for making sure that people were respecting the drafts where appropriate. Um, and this kind of carried me around the rest of that second lap. Emotionally, the bike was pretty up and down for me. Uh, sometimes I felt great and I was absolutely loving it, but those times on my own were really difficult and made me question what I was doing and whether or not I'd even be able to finish, considering I still had a marathon to run off of the bike. But overall, I really enjoyed the bike. I think I performed pretty much exactly as I wanted to. I normalized just shy over 200 watts, which was pretty much what I wanted to average, and a raw average about 192 watts. This is definitely something I'm gonna work on for the future, I think there's a load of improvement there, but that will all come. Finally, out onto the run, and for anyone who's done an Ironman, and, and now I've done one, I can definitely say the hardest part of the whole thing. And Again, let's talk about the course at Barcelona. It's three laps. Each lap is about 14 kilometers long with a small kind of loop out of transition to get yourself started on that first lap. So we're passing the finish line three times and that definitely played on my mental. I, I felt pretty tired starting the run. I definitely knew that I pushed myself a little bit too hard on the bike, but I was still pretty in pretty good spirits and hoping to achieve my goal time. And I was pretty much bang on what I wanted to run. I was aiming to run 430 kilometers for the whole marathon. That would give me about a, just a sub 310 um, marathon, which would be mental for my first one. I managed that for the first kind of three or four kilometers. Um, but after that, the wheels fell apart. I don't know if it was fueling. I don't know if it was just durability and not doing enough of those really, really long sessions, because I only did two, but I couldn't keep going at that pace. 
started by just walking the aid stations and then running around that pace again but even then running between the aid stations got slower than that and we kind of slowed to about 5.30 per kilometre on average. I was really pleased that I never fully stopped, I was always moving in the right direction, however knowing that I was falling short of what I had hoped to do um, was definitely mentally challenging. It's not something that I always deal very well with. Uh, for those of you who watch the channel, you know that I put quite high expectations on myself. Uh, and even though this was my first Ironman, I, I had lofty goals. So seeing the pace start to slip and feeling like I had no chance of bringing it back definitely made it harder. And again, brought those questions of, you know, am I going to finish? Should I bother finishing? into my mind and that only made how I was feeling during the run worse. Come on Josh! Woo! You're doing so good! Although it's something I am really pleased to see this time as I was able to rally towards the end so doing some kind of rough maths using the pace and the time of day on my watch and knew that I was pretty close to hitting my B goal of a sub 9 at 30 total, mar total Ironman um, about with the, about 5k remaining of the run and this made me pick up my pace a lot I mean it wasn't close to what I wanted to run but we were running you know sub 5 minute k's and hurting a lot really really suffering for those last um, 5k's but that did bring me just one minute under my B goal, so I managed to finish in 9.29 and that was an amazing experience. I, 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 from going to, you know, feeling like I wasn't going to finish to 25 minutes later, running towards that finish line uh, with my partner Danny cheering me on, um, it was, yeah, a mind, a mind blowing experience. The finish experience at any Ironman is amazing and I'm in Barcelona was no exception. It was absolutely fabulous to have Danny in the crowd cheering me on as I came down that finish shoot and I heard the ever coveted words, you are an Ironman. And it should go without saying that although Ironman is incredibly expensive for what it is, you do get an atmosphere there like nowhere else and the staff were fabulous. I was pretty out of it having pushed myself uh, to my limit for those last 5k um, but they took care of me incredibly well. Um, I you know, got some food, got some soft drinks, managed to get everything sorted so you know thank you so much to the staff and volunteers uh, around the finish line and on the whole Ironman course. I think to summarise my overall experience of my first Ironman, I mean look I was so excited going into it, but during it I thought I was absolutely crazy more times than I cared to remember. Um, it was definitely the mental side of it that I found uh, challenging as well as the kind of physical durability side in the marathon. And I definitely underestimated how hard it was going to be. I think I've been humbled by my first Ironman. I was incredibly pleased to hit my B goal even if I missed my A goal and I'm really excited to, to do another one. I know it sounds crazy but I think there's more performance left in the body. I think that there's an opportunity to go faster. I really understand where I need to improve so let's see if I can actually do that. I have already picked out which Ironman I'm going to do next year. I'm going to do a full training weekly series for that next year. I'm not going to announce it just yet because uh, I haven't booked anything um, but please consider subscribing to the channel if you want to follow my journey as I race middle and full distance triathlon next year. I'll also have a video breaking down my training for this one as well as reviewing the Ironman Barcelona course and my recommendations if you're looking at racing it next year. However, that's it for this video. I hope you've all enjoyed. If you have found this video interesting or enjoyed it, please consider hitting that thumbs up and subscribing to see more videos. But as always, I hope you enjoy your next training session. Thanks so much for watching.